so today I'm going to revisit one of those wrecked ring pours. I'm going to wreck it in zigzag form or some sort of shape, and then I'm going to spin out the canvas. The last time I did it, I did it zigzag back and forth one way. I turned the canvas and I did it again and muddied everything up. So I think all I'm going to do is just do it one set of wrecks and then call that a day and spin it out. Got a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas and I've got a beautiful color palette. So this here is Purple Lake from Creative Inspirations. Turquoise blue mixed in with a little bit of cerulean blue from Liquitex Basics. This is Soho in Thalo Green. I am like in love with Thalo Green lately. It's been in my last couple of videos. Artist Loft Soft Body White. I'm not using Amsterdam because I do want to see if this is going to sell up enough. Got some Iridescent Precious Gold from Pebio. And another color I'm in love with is Thalo Blue from Amsterdam. So these paints are mixed with Mina's uh, gloss gel recipe. So I take about three blobs of gloss gel and add in a little bit of Floetrol, just a little bit at a time, until I get it to a runny consistency. And then I add more Floetrol to it to make a medium. And then that's just two ounces of that medium to about four ounces of paint. And then um, about four to five ounces of Floetrol, just depending on how thick I want it. The paint's running off the stick, making a mound and sinking right into itself. Got a 16 ounce cup. I'm probably gonna fill it up one cup and then about another half a cup. All right, so let's go with some Purple Lake. Some of that turquoise blue. Thalo green. I'm using pretty thick layers in this too. Some white. Gold. Some phthalo blue. Let's come back through here again. Lake. And you don't always need to layer your colors the exact same way every time. So I'm just changing this up just a little bit. So there's my cup, it's nice and full. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna pour into just a touch of gold and white into the center. Some white. And some gold. Pour right into the center of this. I'm gonna do a ring pour.
Okay, I'm gonna just use the same cup. And I will put, this time I'm gonna start with the phthalo blue. The gold, white, phthalo green. Blue there, it's purple. Coming in with two layers there. Come right back in again. Take what's left in my cup here and just put it over here on my corners. All right, before I torch and I put my flow extender down, I'm just gonna do a little bit of wrecking. So I'm just gonna take my chopstick and I'm gonna go through this. Kind of just making some swirls, I think. go. Nothing too crazy. Just going to take a little bit of this flow extender that I've got from my previous pours. I'm gonna pour this right around here. I'm bringing this out a little bit. All of it's going to get spun off. Gonna give this a torch. Just shifting the paint to get it back to the center so hopefully it will <clears throat> spin out fairly evenly. All right, now we're going to spin. Here we go. Pretty cool. Let's go back the other way. more time. Sides are covered. Got a really cool composition happening there. Got some great rings. Everything's flowing through there pretty well. I like this. All right, I'm gonna pull this down off of the spinner and then we might do some tilting, we'll see. I think the paint is pretty much done. Let's just make sure. I'm 
gonna leave it there. Okay, I really like what's happening with this piece. The wrecking gave it some great dimension. Um, I still kept a lot of each color on there, so when I bring you down, you'll be able to see that. And the uh, Artist Loft white is really starting to sell up too. Really, really cool. So I'm gonna clean up these edges, I'll get you down, and I'll show you what everything's looking like, all right? All right, here we are with the wet results. So spinning this out gave it some great dimension with the wreckage. I love how it just kind of goes all different which ways. All the colors are still represented. Look at this up close, beautiful. Look at the wonderful lines that it's going through there. Little itty bitty white cells popping through. Reminds me of some sort of underwater piece. Love how the phthalo green looks with the phthalo blue. Look at those lines. All right guys, here we are with the dried result. Look at the beautiful lines and the color in this, so wonderful. guys that's gonna do it for today's video so that is the dried result a little dark but once I get the gloss varnish on it it's gonna definitely lighten up but it just dried fantastic I got some great lines in this um, it is super cold outside my hands are frozen um, but yeah just the, the detail from the wreckage really really created a great piece also I want to show you something real quick so I upgraded, I've started doing some of those big tiles. So this is the 12 by 12. They're actually 11 by 11, but I have those, some really cool hexagons and tons of them. Um, so they're all gonna go in my Christmas shop, but my website is up and running. I don't have, I've got one piece listed for sale so far, but I'm gonna add paintings trivets tiles all those things to the website as well um, but you can definitely go to my website it is now live it's studio 15 acrylics.com all right everyone thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time everyone have a great rest of the weekend bye bye